and get ready to throw your undies, ladies, as we're in the company of the all-singing, all-dancing Aussie hunk that is Adam Garcia! <laughs> Our next guest today is an actor who's tap danced with Kylie Minogue, counts Drew Barrymore as a close pal, and stripped to his undies in the Hollywood movie Coyote Ugly, which led to him winning an army of female admirers. Recently, he put amateur dancers through their paces as a judge on the Sky Show Got to Dance. But this summer, he'll be tap dancing his way back into the West End in the show Tap Dogs. Please welcome Adam Garcia. <laughs> You, you got history. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Oops. We go back a long <laughs> way. Shall I tell him? Yeah, you might as well. Um, I was his landlady. <laughs> he's a, he's a, what was I say, dirty landlady. That's not very nice. <laughs> uh, he lived. He came to stay with me and Paul and Bo for a week. Yeah. Mm. And uh, seven months later. <laughs> yes. You were still there, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was. Um, I was renovating a, a flat, which Paul was helping me to do, and then it took a little longer. Than expected. Oh yeah. Uh, and so I stayed for seven months. And how long you like as the landlady? Oh, she's lovely. Well, she she was working on the bill all the time. So yeah, I wasn't there, was I? And I was sort of like their errant teenage son. I was ah. sort of because I was working on a show, and so I'd sort of wake up at twelve in midday, and then come home at about two. And then, so I'd never really see you. You treat this place like a hotel. Yeah, he did, and he'd never leave any food out. Oh, no, I was like Because he eats rat. anything. Yeah. <laughs> so how long were you there? Because uh, before you came on, she said, and we've done for a week, we couldn't get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven months. Six and months, seven months, yeah. Why you all her drawers? No. He's <laughs> not going to say if you can, you can fess up now yeah. and tell us what you found. What a wise choice that would be. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, at least, by the way, uh, I'll put that back. Um, what was the fridge like? Well, it was empty after I was there. Yeah. I, was just, I, was, I was terrible. I was like a rat. I was like, they'd, they'd, like in the morning, they'd wake up and the, the, you know, the roast chicken would be gone. Yeah. Be like, oh, but oh, but yeah. it had other benefits, <coughs> ladies. Oh. I don't mind him eating yeah. the chicken, because it's, it's not exactly uneasy on the eyeballs, is it? <laughs> <laughs> not on the undies on the couch at some day. <laughs> no. no, I didn't quite go that far. I mean, I, I, you've obviously, you know, if you'd lived with, with other people, are, would you say that you're a good housemate to have? What? Oh, <laughs> oh look um, at the face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think so. I, I think... I, I, I at, think you know, you for, are. First, for the first month I am. After that, yeah. I'm like hideous. But um, <laughs> no, generally I'm quite, I'm quite respectful. I have a friend in America who let me stay with him for a long time, and he was very particular about everything being in place. Right. And he would go away, but they, as long as everything was absolutely where it was meant to be, and I sort of have that habit now. I yeah, try and, leave and you travel a lot. You've got like a home in LA, a home here, a home in Australia. So you're good at actually just picking up and going and, and, and living wherever, yeah, aren't you? Exactly. So yeah. obviously you're, you're here in free. You're, you're <laughs> <I'm> Australian. <laughs> <laughs> you're here in London now for Tap Dogs. True. Yes, I am. Yeah, we uh, open on the 15th of June, so we're we're in rehearsals right now. And I mean, obviously this, this show has been running and running. I actually went to see it. Was it 1995? Was it, was. it when yeah, it first that was the came first out? Year when it was, uh, the I can remember then absolutely being blown away by it. We were. It, is it still got? Is it Douglas Mills who was in it from the very yeah, start? Yeah, Dougie's Dougie's back. Um, and then there's an American guy, but most of the cast is Australian. And this okay. will be the first time I'm, I've done it, even though I've been involved in the group since I was like 16. Because, um, weren't you involved in the movie of? The show, if that makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, with uh, with Sam Worthington actually, who's now the number one star in the world. Wow, craziness! Wow. But um, yeah, that was this. This Bootman sort of the movie version of the choreographer and my teacher Dean uh -huh. becoming a tap dancer. He was a fitter and turner in a steelworks in Newcastle in Australia, and his brother and another guy who was a painter. But they all tap danced in Newcastle inexplicably, um, and were world champions. And so. But as tap dancers, there's no work for tap dancers. Right. So he decided, right, I'm just going to create my own group and, it's a and work on work. show. There's a big difference, isn't there, between American tap dancing and English tap dancing. It's a much a stronger tap dancing. I, 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 I think it's slightly overlooked in this country to, uh, as a, as a, a think, dance routine. Yeah, it's sort of... I mean, it's very odd to have a show which is all tap dancing. Yeah. There are very, very few. I mean, 42nd Street is a... It's a musical that has tap in it and is mainly based in tap, but there are no... 
tap dancing shows like there are contemporary ballet shows or, or ballet yeah. performances. It's, it's just also, not that many. I think tap is if, if men doing great tap dancing but not doing it like they're dancers, like they're men, actually yes. tap dancing can be really, really sexy, can't it? It's, it's very butch. It's, a, it's, yeah. it, it's yeah, not, you know, it's no, not like no, that no. at all. We, it's... we wear boots and jeans and flanny shirts and <laughs> it's all about... I know what I mean by tiddly 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 tiddly. I've, I've had to tiddly tea once or twice, and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> you always know you were going to be a dancer. Um, I think, in a strange and kind of weird way, dancing chose me. I went. I became a dancer when I was seven. A friend of mine was going to go to ballet class because his sister did cello next door to this ballet thing, and he, as my best friend, said, "Well, you're coming to do ballet with me, right?" And I was like, "Well, yeah," because I'm seven. And I don't know yeah. any better. <laughs> and so I went and did ballet, and I just really enjoyed it, and I was kind of good at it. Mm. Um, and so from then on, I never thought I shouldn't be doing it or I should be doing it. I just went and did it. Yeah. But you were really academic, <clears throat> weren't you, as well? Um, yeah, well, I, I actually was meant to go... Well, I did go to university and start a biology degree. Um, but then Dean Perry, the choreographer of Tap Dogs, was like, oh, listen, do you want to come do this show? Mm -hmm. uh, the precursor to Tap Dogs. And I was like, yeah, I kind of want to have a break and... It'll last about a couple of months. And did you find yourself while you took your break and danced a bit? I'm still on. I'm still taking my break from university, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure. I was sort of... I, I kind of... I'm very vague. So I guess in an Australian way, we go on a walkabout. Yeah. Mm. And a walkabout is that you throw yourselves in different adventures and experiences that you couldn't possibly have at home. Mm. And, and eventually you have to run into things that confront you. And you run into confrontations and you understand how you react to it and hopefully you grow from that. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I'm not very good at just sort of thinking about life. I have to throw myself at it and see what sticks. That's a good way to it do is, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a good way of putting it as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, good. I mean, like it didn't work. You. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should stay as you are. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Abs do you know, it's, it's been lovely to meet you. Best of luck with the show as well. And like I say, if you, if you haven't seen it, it, it's not a tiddly, tiddly, tiddly no, tap dancey nice. thing. It's a, <laughs> it's, I, yes. I think we should have a little loose women outing to come and yes. see yeah, you. Yeah, we'll come along, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Absolutely like. lovely. And the, uh, the key is under the mat, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> and the chicken's, <laughs> in, all that and the chicken's yeah. in the yeah. fridge. Yeah. It's Adam Garcia, everyone. <laughs> That is all for today. Um